round three, our experts will answer two questions, this time for $5 a piece. And while they're thinking, the other experts will bet on whether or not the expert knows the answer. In the field of robotics, what does the acronym BEAM stand for? B-E-A-M. What does the acronym BEAM stand for? Hans and Kim trying to figure out, Kim's studying Richard. Does he know it? Is he giving it away? Is there a twitch? Is there a little action in his brain? And now it's time for both of you, Hans and Kim, to have your judgment. And Richard, what's the answer? I really have no clue. I'm going to guess uh, uh, basic electronic actuation mechanism. Uh, you were close on a couple, but it's biology, electronics, aesthetics, and mechanics. Kim thought you'd get it wrong. She gets the $5. Hans thought you'd get it right. He gets nothing. Kim increases her lead. In the category of parks and recreation, what are two of the four former names of Andy's band? Richard and Kim look right at you as if that's going to give anything away. They're trying to determine whether or not you can name two of the four names of Andy's band, four former names of Andy's band, and now we need to know what the answer to the question is. Scarecrow Boat and Department of Homeland Obscurity. Kim, it's your first question in round three. And the question is, in the category of Harry Potter, how many brothers and sisters does Ron Weasley have? Think about it while Richard and Hans Try to figure out whether you know it or you don't. Kim, how many brothers and sisters does Ron Weasley have? Six. Um, we go now to uh, Richard in Robots. Your second question. What 12th century Arab inventor made some of history's first recorded automatons, including a humanoid waitress who served drinks? I'll ask the question again while they consider whether you'll get it right. What 12th century Arab inventor made some of history's first recorded automatons, including a humanoid waitress who served drinks? Richard? I'm going to take a stab. Uh, al Khwarizmi? It's not. It was Al Jazari, and both of them thought you'd get it wrong. So they have no confidence. They each get five. Richard sits, uh, and now it's time for Hans. It's Parks and Recreation. Recreation. It's your second question. Here it is. Chris believes that what restaurant business idea of Ben's is, quote, literally the worst idea he has ever heard. Chris believes that what restaurant business idea of Ben's is literally the worst idea he has ever heard. Guys, you ready? Okay. Now we need Hans to give us an answer. The low-cal calzone zone. That is correct. The low-cal calzone <laughs> zone. Everybody gets that right. That is fantastic. Five for each of you. Unfortunately, Hans, they both thought uh. you'd get it right. You've proven too tough. We go now to Kim, your second Harry Potter question. The low-cal calzone <laughs> zone. Um, sounds awful. Kim, Nobody what <laughs> two Harry Potter movies Sorry. were not nominated for an Oscar? What two Harry Potter movies were not nominated for an Oscar? Richard and Hans working away. We're ready for you, Kim, to answer the question. Order of the Phoenix and Deathly Hollows Part 2. I'm sorry, Kim. It's, you got the Order of Phoenix right, but it was also the Chamber of, of Secrets. Hans, you said she'd get it wrong. Richard, you said she'd get it wrong. Five each for five dollars each for Richard and Hans. Going into round four, our expert of experts round. 